we are having two people here that are going to have a, a, a short interview around the issue of regulations in the water services sector. Can you just quickly introduce yourself, please? I'm Robert Gakubia. I'm in charge of the water services regulation in Kenya. Can you show your, your name card, please, so that we can... Okay, and next? Jean de la Harp from IRC. Okay. So. So, Robert, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. And um, I'd like to know what you see as the role of regulation in the water services sector. I think uh, regulation in water services uh, or regulation in any public sector in my view has been a missing link in development uh, in the overall development of our countries. Uh, we specifically mention about regulation in water sector. Regulation is about standards, about setting standards, is about holding service providers to account, is about making sure that services are run sustainably at an affordable cost uh, to, the, to the consumer. Are there any particular tools or frameworks that you're using in Kenya to operationalize this? Yes, when we were formed uh, about 2003, we didn't have any regulatory tool. So we had to start from developing the regulatory tools. For example, if you look at the, the Act, the law in Kenya, it, uh, it gives us a mandate to license water service provision, to monitor standards of water service provision. So we had to develop license documents we had to develop service provision agreements to govern the relationship between service providers and the, and, the, and the asset developers. Because in Kenya, we have separated policy, regulation, and service provision, and further separated service provision into service development, infrastructure development, and service management. That's very interesting. In fact, it sounds very similar to the South African uh, separation of roles and functions between the authority role and the provision role. When it comes to regulating on the local government level, on the uh, provision side, what specific tools are you using? Uh, basically, in the, when you look at the, the local government, the, the water services uh, mandate is with the water services provider. If the local government is want to run water services, it must run it as a separate entity, separate from other local government services. That means you have to remove fence for the water. Now that has to be governed by an agreement which I, we are calling the service provision agreement between, between the water service provider, the local government level, and the water service board. The water service board is a parastatal. We have eight of them in Kenya. That, is, that will hold the assets on behalf of, uh, of, the, of the people. And then release, I mean, uh, get those assets to be managed by the service provider, who in this case could be a local government or a service provider. And um, do you have many of these agreements in place already? Yes, we have. So far we have uh, about 118 agreements. Both, most of them are urban, that means they are local, local authority service agreements, but quite a number are also local. So we have all those agreements in place, and we have uh, eight licenses in place, but uh, and seven actually, but one is interim because of the, the new water service board. And these ones are running properly. So the other ones we monitor as a regulator to make sure that the targets of open standards are being met.